Hey y'all, welcome back to the farm. My name is Susie and I'm so glad that you're here today. In today's video, I have a huge thrift haul that I want to show you. If you're new to my channel, I have a booth where I take these items that I find at thrift stores, yard sales and whatnot and resell them. I do a lot of DIY and decorating and you never know what you're going to find here on the farm. If you like that kind of content, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I love making new YouTube friends and I would love to have you. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this haul because it's a big one. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I want to show you a couple of big items that I don't didn't bring over here. Um, I'm going to just insert a picture here as I talk about them. I got this um, hutch and um, a dining set with six chairs for $80 at a yard sale. The hutch is almost identical to mine upstairs, so I'm gonna do the same thing, because I love it. I'm gonna do the outside white, paint the inside with apothecary, and I'm not sure about the table and chairs yet. For sure, they need refinished, um, re-upholstered, but um, that's a job for another day. My mama also found this uh, huge chest that is in great shape. The only problem is the inside stinks like mothballs really bad. I put baking soda in it and let it sit for days. I have now had some of those uh, downy um, scent infusions, like you put the little balls you put in the laundry and I've had it closed up for a few days. If that doesn't work, I will probably just um, do the redo the inside too. I kind of wanted to keep the inside like it is because it's very vintagey and I just liked it, but I can make it look pretty good and probably get a little bit more for it. Also found this little table here for $5 at a yard sale. That will be a super easy flip, paint it white, put a transfer on it, and it'll sell for at least $30, $35, hopefully. All right, so let's get back to this here. I'm gonna show you the stuff on this table first, and then we'll move back there to some more. Okay, here we go. Some of this stuff my mom got, I'm not exactly sure what she paid for everything, and some things may not be marked. Um, hope y'all are all having a great day. Today is Good Friday. I'm off work and um, I've got another extra day to get some stuff done. Um, I This was one thing that mama got that I'm really not real sure about. She paid $4 for the whole thing. It's metal, um, but all these little balls came in it and they're all kind of coming apart and they glued back together. But I don't know. I they're kind of neat. The, I think the balls are glass and this is plastic on the outside. Um, maybe I can figure out something to do with them. I really like this thing though. Definitely paint that white. Um, last weekend, I went to um, a thrift store kind of out of town, one I don't go to. It was a Goodwill. And the Goodwill has the bags on the wall. And I got this bag that has this little brass bell. And for some reason it had these two little plates in it. And then this little thing will hold these plates perfectly. So I think the bag was $1.99, but I really just got it for the brass bell because I thought it was cute. Um, I think this is just some more uh, brass and metal stuff that mama had. She cleaned out her loft and found a bunch of things. So I'm all the time getting a bunch of free stuff and uh, these little brass candlesticks will sell pretty good. I'm not sure about this one, um, what it is. I guess it's, I guess it's brass. It's like a little goblet, but it's cute. I like the patina on it. As y'all can see, we are down in my workshop today. I've been really getting a lot of stuff done down here. There was just so much stuff. I hated to haul everything upstairs to a prettier background. So hopefully you guys don't mind the background here. Um, the next thing, let me, also I'm trying to sort things away as to where they're going. When I'm finished showing you, I'll either put it in the box that's going straight to be priced and go to the booth if it doesn't need anything done to it, uh, or maybe just tags removed and cleaned up is going in that box. I also have a stash box over there for things I really don't know when I'm going to get to right away. And then I also have some stuff that I bought for me that are going upstairs, so. Okay, got some milk glass, and this came from a flea market that my mom and my daughter went to last weekend. Um, this pretty little vase was $2. I'll probably price it at six. 
maybe eight. And this one also is just a stem base, $2. I love both of these. Really like this one. So those will be able to go straight to the booth. Mama's already even cleaned these up. So all I gotta do is take the price tags off. These were something um, Mama had. I think she might've had a little collection of them. Uh, this little angel's wings came off, but people, um, I forget what these, a oh, willow tree. That's what these are called. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just a couple of little willow trees. I'll glue this little girl's wings back on and they'll go straight to the booth. I like the colors on them. They go with all my color schemes. These candle sconces, if I'm not mistaken, these were home interior that I had years ago. I don't know how mama ended up with them, but um, they are brass looking or gold. Um, not sure if I will leave them as they are or uh, paint them white. Those have got to go over there to be determined. Let's see, this is a little cutting board that mama got at the flea market for $2. I think it had a little bit of something else going with it. I don't understand that. I do love the color of it. Um, it looks like it's been used a little bit, but um, I think I might put um, a drop cloth pocket on it with a transfer just to hide that and some floral and that would be cute and just make it a wall hanger rather than a cutting board. But for $2, love the wood color on that. Um, this little planter box mama's had for a long time. I'll paint it white, distress it, do some floral arrangement in, in it. Those always seem to sell pretty good. Um, not sure, I, maybe if I can get that lion off, I can put a different mold on it. He's a little broke, but I don't think it'll matter. So that was free. I'll make a little planter box out of it. Restore. Um, my local thrift store is the one that has the rewards and I always have a lot of rewards. So, um, can't tell you exactly what I paid for. I get, I get about 30% off of just about everything just because I shop there so much. Um, these are, these were $6.99. I think I ended up paying about $5 for it total though. They've got the baskets and the little white bowls. Love the color of the baskets. I'm going to be redoing my hutch upstairs. Here's a current situation of it. I've got everything out of it. I stole a bunch of stuff from it to set up my booth, which most of that stuff I had made for the booth anyway, and I was just stashing it in the china cabinet. I never really liked any of it there. So now I can finally decorate it like I want it, and I wanna go with wood tones and natural tones and pottery, white pottery. Um, stuff like that. So I thought these would be perfect. I um, don't know if I'll take the bowl. I'll probably take the bowls out of the baskets, you know, put the baskets in the background. We'll see. But I really like those. I also got this greenery, um, probably for me. Uh, it was $4.99 plus the 30 off. So I don't know. Um, it's got a little green on it, but I really, really love the fern and it, it's good quality. So I went ahead and got that. I think that's probably going to be part of my china cabinet as well. And then I got not really a set of dishes, but just some, you know, white china to put in there to stack up. I just got two of everything because I don't, you know, I don't want to do a whole china set in there. I have other plans, but I thought that those were pretty. Um, the little plates and the bowls were 99 cents plus my 30, so about 75 cents a piece. And then the plates were $2, so $1.50, something like that. Got all that for me. And y'all, I am obsessed with this macrame. This is what I wanted to do on one of the wine bottles, but I never got around to learning how to do it. Now this is actually crocheted macrame. I wanted to try to do it something similar, you know, just with the knots and all with some twine. And I am still going to figure that out because, okay, so this is, was from Mama's and my Aunt Vaughn actually crocheted this and gave it to her years ago. Um, but I love it. This is all, this uh, macrame is coming back in the style big time with all the bohos. And um, I'm really leaning towards that a little bit, which is so weird because I've always been so farmhouse, but just loving all the um, 
all the boho stuff. So I'm not gonna change my style completely, but I do wanna try to incorporate it. I'm kind of eclectic when it comes to decorating because I like a lot of different things. I just try to make them work together the best I can and sometimes I fail and sometimes it looks pretty awesome, so. Um, okay, so on the same line, I got this bottle. It's marked $3, but the orange tags were half off plus my 30%, so I got that less for less than a dollar and a half. I know that. I thought this would be really cool to do the macrame on. Love, 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 love the green. And that would be so pretty. If not, I still really love the green. Take that out, it'd be really cute. And the shape of it's really neat too. Okay, so mom went to some kind of festival with a friend of hers and there was a lady there and she actually has her bag and she's actually from Hayden, which is where I live actually. Mom doesn't live there, but uh, it's called Patsy's, Patsy Creamer Gibbs Potter. And her little bag was still here, but this stuff is so cute. This is like, um, I think it says Plum Nearly Farms Pottery. So she made this and this is um, something that you can make your own coffee in. Oh yeah, you sit this on top of your mug. I don't have a mug down here, but let's say this is a mug. So you sit that on top of the mug and then you put your coffee filter or whatever in there and put hot water and it makes your coffee for you. But isn't it beautiful? I just love it. Love the colors, everything about it. I don't know what mama paid for this, but um, she got it home and she said it just didn't work for her. So she wanted me to try to sell it. So we'll come up with a good price for that. And then also this soap dish is handmade. And there's also a soap on it that says made in Italy. Not sure if it's true, it smells really good. So I'll sell that like that. I have a whole thing back here that is kind of bathroom thing. So I'll probably make a little vignette with that. Just thought of that. I'll show you all that stuff in a minute. Um, just this little planter with some floral and a butterfly on it. I don't know, I think mama had this. So that was free. I'll stick a little greenery in it. It'll go straight to the booth. It's so cute. It says Serenity Garden, 2003. Um, Mom found these, I believe, at a yard sale. I think they were about 25 cents each. They are just little wall hangers, and they're cute. Looks like somebody tried to antique them up, maybe with some spray paint, but I'm just going to spray paint them completely and hang them up in my booth. Somebody might want them. I won't get very much for them, but they're cute. This was two dollars. This little planner. This is. I'm definitely gonna keep this um, for my china cabinet because it's just perfect colors. Just a pretty little white vase. Love it. Okay. Next up, we have a couple of apothecary jars. Love, 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 love this one. Mama's had this one a while. She's had it up on um, the loft. So pretty. Yeah, it's not, it's just glass. Yeah, no, it may be crystal, but I think it's glass. But how pretty is that? And then I got this one for $1.99 plus my 30 off. This is somebody made this one. It's a glass candlestick with like a globe on top of it. But they did a really good job and it would be so pretty with um, a candle in there. So I got that for I'd probably about a dollar fifty. That's gonna go straight to the booth. This is gonna go straight to the booth. Um, I went ahead and picked up another glass candlestick. This one needs cleaned up, but these are really good for sticking things on. Not necessarily this, but that is kind of what I planned for this um, little baking pan. But yeah, those are so good for making um, risers out of. See, that looks pretty good with that brass. Okay, so um, I did get these um, three baking pans, old ones. They're so cute to paint up white and put some feet on and just be a little 
shelf sitter, you know, where you can throw your keys or your watch or whatever when you take them off, maybe on a bathroom shelf. I just think they're so cute. They're the perfect size. Got those, I think they were at 25 cents a piece, and I really don't even remember where I got them. I think I got them at a yard sale, so they probably just threw them in there with the rest of the stuff. I found another sifter. This one's old, got some good patina on it. Um, it was $3.99 plus my 30% off. That way I can hang on to my sifter and put some cool stuff like this in the booth. I love putting old kitchen utensils and old, you know, crusty kitchen stuff in the booth. I think it just gives it such a, a neat look. I really like it. Um, Mama had a napkin holder. It's black. I'll spray paint it up white to distress it. Put a little bit on it. I'm sure that'll sell. Like, I love the little feet on it. Ah, another napkin holder. I bought this one because I don't like mine upstairs anymore. I'll put it in the booth. It's cute. It's a little cow and it sits up, but my napkins tend to fall down in it. So I wanted to get something now that I'm going for more of the natural wood tones and stuff. So I got this napkin holder for $3.99 minus my 30. It's Threshold. Is that Target? Target brand? Anyway, that's my new napkin holder. I gotta clean it up. Okay, on to some vases. Got three really good vases here. This one is marked $9.99, but it was orange tag, half off day. So I got it for five plus the 30% discount. So under $5, it is so pretty. I love the blue color and the blue handle. I don't know, should I do anything to this? It's just really pretty like it is. You think I should put a transfer on it? Should I paint it? I don't wanna paint it, it's just so pretty. So do you think I should put a transfer on it or just clean it up and leave it as is? And just, you know, stick a stem or two in there. Let me know your opinion on that in the comments below because I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Um, these two vases will definitely get painted. This one's glass, but I do like the shape of it. These are a great shape. Vases to have, this one is very unique. It's more, I think it's resin. Feels like pottery, but it's, it's resin. But yeah, I'm gonna paint both of these up, um, probably white. I may put something on that one. Um, just do this one up white. Or, you know what would be really pretty is that stone spray paint that I have. So, that's also an option. I think I might have to do the stone on this one. You know, like I did the wine bottle. It really turned out pretty. It looked really dark on that wine bottle because it was a dark wine bottle. So, it may not do the same. I'll do an undercoat of white and then put that stone on there. That will be really pretty. See, sometimes I don't even know what I'm gonna do with things until I start showing you guys and it comes to me. That's how it works sometimes. Um, this basket wasn't mama's. It needs a good spray paint. It's so shiny. I don't know what is so shiny on that. I gotta tone that down for sure, but it's just a cute little basket, um, you know, for a vignette or something. And okay, I'm gonna move back here, but let me grab these things because I already started. I got these at a yard sale for 50 cents each. Just some brass um, planters. They all got some great patina on them. Let's see, see that one's got some of that green on there. Um, this one does on the inside. These are just really cute. Uh, I'm just gonna clean these up and stick some greenery in them. Not a whole lot, Not and just put them in the booth and see if they sell like that. Okay, let me move the camera over here towards the back because there's a lot of stuff back here too. Okay, I have a few more things over here and I'm going to start with this little duck. I don't remember where I got him, but I think I paid $2 for him. I'm not going to paint him. He's just one of them that will sit up on the side of something. See how cute that is? I think he's so cute just the way he is. And found a ton of vintage books. I went to a, um, a flea market actually. And you know, usually they know the value of the old books, but these were marked a dollar and $2 each. And there's some really old ones. 
always finding the red, which are great for Christmas, because it's really hard to find vintage books in spring colors. But I got um, this one, and this one's like a dark navy blue, and there's another red one. It's super, super old. A lot of these are really old. This one, somebody tried to tape his cover back on, Tarzan of the Apes. Um, I'm just gonna take the cover off because that's pretty cool too. 1914, published 1914. Thank you. Yeah. And this one, this is a cute little green color. I like this one. Brass Tacks by Colonel Somebody Hunter, authors of Dollars and Cents. Capsule Optimism. It's just little um, sayings, I guess you'd say. I just find vintage books so interesting and the things people write in them. It's history, guys. I love it. 1910. Copyright. 1910. But that one's a pretty green color. This one's super old. It's a Dickens book. Definitely pretty at Christmas. Yep, by Charles Dickens. I don't know the date on this one, but it's very old. Um, one more, and this one's a pretty color. Brief History of the United States American Book Company. I like the color, the yellow, very boho-y. I'll keep a few of these. Copyright 1871. Hmm. That's very cool. I like this book. I might actually read this book first. Okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, Mama had these at her house. They're two very, very large, I don't know if you can see, hanging things um, with the copper flowers on them. Somebody might want them. I mean, they are really big. So, I'll hang them up in my booth just like they are. Somebody might want them. And they're, you know, maybe conversational piece because they're really big. Along the lines of really big, um, Mama also picked this up at a yard sale. I don't think she paid very much for it, maybe two or three dollars. I will paint it up white. Hopefully I can cover up some of that um, fake rust and distress it and hang it up. It's a very big architectural piece. A lot of people love those. I like that. I'm not crazy about the floor de loo on them, but it's cute. What do y'all think? Oops, I just realized that my ring light wasn't on for all that, so I'm not gonna go back and film it. Hopefully you guys can see it pretty good. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, I had this, uh, you know, I told you about my daughter and son-in-law moved into my other house. This was something that I had left up there, got it a few weeks ago. It's just a little relaxed sign that hangs. I had spray painted it black, thinking, because I got this here, at the thrift store, I paid a little bit more. I paid $6.99, but my 30% off. So about $5 for this. But anytime you can find these little signs already made up and you can paint over it and put what you want on it, it's a pretty good deal because lumber is so expensive right now. However, I got to thinking I really like that. I love this color. I like the saying. And I thought I have this that goes along with it. I can spray paint it like a greenish color. And then I have um, those soap thing that mama had. So yeah, I think that might be cute just as is. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll put a, um, probably put a sawtooth hanger on it because those are horrible to try to hang on, which is why this person probably had that on there. But yeah, so I'm gonna spray paint this relax to go with that in a little um, bathroom getaway oasis kind of thing yet. Um, this is a stainless steel tray, heavy, really heavy. I got it for $3. 
Um, don't know if I should leave it as is or if I should paint it. Um, but it was a really nice tray. I really like it. So, let's see. I'm trying to think of something I can sit in it. Look how pretty that is. Can y'all see that? Love, love, love that tray. was $2.99 plus my 30% off. Just a little floral. Um, not crazy about this matte. I will probably paint the matte white, but leave that pink and then paint the um, frame. I don't know. Just a cute little hanging floral. Florals are really going really, really, really great right now. So just doing something with that. This is something that Mama had and it's, um, it's something official. Yeah, this came from the New York Public Library at, in at Lincoln Center, Masterpieces and Music. Oh, it's uh, Johann Sebastian Bach. Um, so don't mess with that, but I might paint the frame. Not really crazy about the black frame. We'll see. That's pretty neat though. I gotta look that up and see, you know, if that is some kind of value. Mama had this. Um, I think um, grandmother had gave it to her years ago. Not sure. Um, just a little throw here. Um, this was on my step um, when my dad passed. Um, this was on his, um, you know, casket. This amazing grace. How sweet the sound. It's got a little church on it. Just for like, um, you know, fall and Christmas and all. I want to have some some throws and stuff to put out there. This I found in my old house in a closet. It's an old, old, old ore. Um, or maybe it was in a shed. I think it was in a shed out there. But anyway, it's kind of neat conversational piece. I won't do anything to it. It's already, you know, got all the, the issues with it. And then Mama had this anchor that um, somebody had given her. I think I'm gonna try to take the rope off of it. I might not be able to get the rope back on it. I'm not really crazy about the rope, but it needs rope because it's an anchor. Anyway, I thought I might paint it white. I might just paint the rope white too. What do you guys think? Just paint all white, including the rope and distress it. Anyway, that would go cool, like a little nautical theme there. And this, I got this at a flea market for $4. I am obsessed with this tray. Um, it's resin, but it's made to look like wood. But it's huge, and I think if I paint it white and bring all those details back, I think I'm gonna put this on top of my china cabinet. I love, 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 love. Look at all the detail on that. It's all scratched up, so that's why I'm thinking about painting it. And it was only $4, so it's really big. And I got a watercolor in a frame love watercolors i uh, like the matte and everything in this and i'll probably paint it green uh, maybe let's see maybe a celery what do you guys think oh that was 3.99 um so, um, yesterday I went by the thrift store that's close to my office. They don't have a lot. Things are just kind of thrown in there. Nothing's priced, so it's really hard to tell. But way back in the back, I found this box of hardware. So, I'm like, well, I'll just take it up there and ask what he wants. I got this entire box of cabinet hardware. And it's the long ones with all the screws still in the bags for $5 for this whole box. I would guess to say there's 30 plus in here. These are probably all ordered off Amazon because what's so funny is it is the same cabinet hardware as the cabinet hardware that I have on my kitchen cabinets. And this is just where I keep, where I throw extra hardware stuff. So now I have a whole box of cabinet hardware. These will be great with all my scrap wood if I make trays with them. Uh, these would be great tray handles. I mean, there's so much I can use them for. 
If I come across the right dresser or something that needs some hardware, these would work. So very excited about a whole box full of hardware for $5. I have one more thing here. And this was another thing from grandmother. This is a limited edition print. I've got to look up the value on this and see. And I don't know how I would display or sell, but this is called the general. It's print number 1157 of 3000, Charles Vittenau, 1978. So, you know, somebody that's really into trains, they might really like that. Um, it's got, uh, let's see, it's got an actual, yeah, here's the actual authentication of it. So, I mean, it's real. For somebody that's into art, um, I can, I'm gonna check on that. So I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of cleaning up to do, um, a lot of flipping to do. Hopefully you guys get to see a lot of that in upcoming videos. I've got a lot of um, stuff I gotta take upstairs because I gotta get to work on my china cabinet. So just a lot, a lot to do. I thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope y'all have a great day and I hope you have had a great Easter. It's not Easter yet here right now as I'm filming this, but by the time you see this video, Easter will be over. So I hope you enjoyed yours and your family. Thank y'all so much for watching.